Hi. Eu tenho sons. Welcome, <clears throat> welcome, 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 welcome to another Saturday for the children's fun time. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Welcome. Fantastic. <clears throat> welcome, 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 welcome. I see a lot of amazing people in the house today. Uh, let's start from the opening prayer and then we'll jump right into the business of the day. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. So uh, who will be taking us to the opening prayer? Let Sharon take us in the opening prayer. Over to you, Sharon. Unmute yourself. You can click the unmute button. You can do that now. Aha. In Jesus' go. name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that we'll never die. Hmm. Thank you, Lord, that, that we're all alive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we'll be good boys and girls. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we'll never disobey God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we will always obey God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, we have never been bad to our parents. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we will always say the truth. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that we will never lie. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. <laughs> And the program of today, we commit to God's hands and the Lord will take absolute control in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Sharon. That was fantastic. I like the prayer. So many prophetic words on the life of the children in Jesus' name. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. Today is going to be a very interesting uh, time and... Uh, in fact, there, there are some things that I'm preparing ahead of next week, Saturday already, but I'm not going to tell anybody. The way you just see it, I'm sure maybe we'll be like, what is J. Mikey trying to do exactly? But don't worry, when that time comes next week, Saturday, <laughs> I'm preparing for it. Once the package arrives, <laughs> but till then, <laughs> welcome, welcome. We have Fuan in the house. Welcome, 
Uncle Fohan. Let's give a round of applause for Uncle Fohan. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome. And we also have amazing people in the house as well. From the team Zion, we have Emmanuel Adeshakor, we have Enoch Ajayi, we have uh, Reina, we have Adeoluwa Degoke, we have what's again, we have a lot of people in the house here today. This is fantastic, fantastic. So today again, I'm not going to be the one preaching and Uncle Fohan is not going to be the one preaching. I'm not going to be the one taking the kahoot. Uncle Fohan is not going to be the one taking kahoot. One of us is going to be doing that today. And uh, I'm on the lookout for who's going to take it for next week as well. <laughs> okay, so before we go into that, if this is your first time, if this is your first time joining us at the Children's Fun Time, let me see your hand up. Can you wave to Jesus? We want to welcome you specially. Oh, we have David. David is a newcomer. Michael, the newcomer. Wow. A round of applause. Let me unmute everybody. Let's give you a round of applause. A round of applause. You can unmute yourself now. Let's give a round of applause to everyone. All the newcomers in the house. I'm a newcomer. Oh, fantastic, 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 fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. All right. So now, that, um, before we continue, you know how we do? All the newcomers, all the old, no, you're not old comers. You are landlords and landladies. So all the landlords and landladies in the house, I wanted to give a warm welcome to our newcomer. You know how we do? If you know how we do, let me see you. Let me see you do it in three, two, one. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh my God. Welcome. That was great. I didn't even have to say it. Welcome. 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 Okay. That is good. That is good. I'm so proud of you guys. I didn't even have to say it. Okay. So now, the newcomers in the house, I'm going to unmute you now. And then you say a very powerful thank you in the name of the Lord. Are you ready? Rolling. And... Action. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is good. That Thank is good. you in the name of the Lord. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. So the next item on the agenda, before we go into the message of the day, we have a drama piece by the Irabo brothers. And they've done us well to send this piece to us. And um, this is uh, probably a recitation. I believe. So be blessed as you watch. Psalm 24, 1 to 10. The earth is the Lord's and all is fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord a righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O you gates. Lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amazing. Woo fantastic. That was fantastic. Woo! 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 Psalm 24, verses 1 to 10. Who can actually recite that passage from memory? <laughs> First of all, thank you very much, Rabba Brothers, for that fantastic piece, for bringing to our remembrance that Bible passage. I love that Bible passage. Let's see. Or should we make it something for next week to see who's going to win that one? Well, if anybody can recite it from memory today, hmm, let me see your hand up. Let me see. Hmm. 
Is anybody's hand up? Is anybody's hand up who can recite it from memory? Okay, I guess we'll leave that for next week. Thank you very much once again, Irabo Brothers, Psalms 24. I think we should even open to it together so that we can quickly look at that passage. It's a very beautiful passage. Let me really go to it. Psalms 24, verses 1 to 10. Now, I'm going to unmute us and we will read Some it. people don't have their Bibles with them. Oh, whoa, whoa, Can you imagine? Whoa. Hmm, 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 hmm. They are okay. running now. <laughs> let's count, let's do a countdown for those who don't have their, you know, in children's fun time. Mm -hmm. Well, of course we have fun, but we also like to write things down. So if you don't have your Bibles and your jotters, we're going to count to 10 and then you go and get one. How about that? Bible, jotter, and writing materials. Are we ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> Two. Two. I think they have it now. And one. one. All right. Yeah. Let me see those who have theirs. <laughs> or let me see those who don't have theirs. If you have yours, you can show us. Show this. Just point to the camera. Show it to the camera. Hmm. Let's see now. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, some people don't have. Should I start mentioning names of those that don't have? No. I'll just mention names of those who have. Michael has. Fantastic. Well done. Robin has. Zion and Zozo have. Oh, beautiful. Inyolua, Shemilogo, beautiful. Oh, somebody is holding what is not a Bible. <laughs> He's holding a remote oh, no, control. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's Bro. count to five and see if you bring, show us the right one now. Five, five seconds counts down. Four, four, three, three. Ah. two, okay. <laughs> beautiful. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> Let's see who else does not have or who has something that is not a Bible. And then we'll count down again. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Everybody has. Fantastic. 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 Okay. Uh, all right. Yes. So we are ready. So we said Psalms 24, verse 1 to 10. I'm going to share my screen now and then I will mute everybody and we will read it together. Is that okay? Mind you, if we're going to read it together, here are the rules. You don't read it like this. No. And you don't read it like this. Are you okay? So you just read it at a good pace so that we are all following. And hopefully, 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 we all read it together without going faster than each other. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? So I'm going to share my screen and then I will count three, two, one, and then we begin like this. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, and really loud, as loud as you can. Three, two, one, go. The earth is the Lord of 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 Lord of
Sorry. So who's going to try and memorize that scripture ahead of next week, Saturday? Who's going to try? Shia Makazan is up. She's going to give it a try. Uncle Fuan is also going to give it a try. Emmanuel will give it a try. Sharon will give it a try. Okay. Adiola is going to give it a try. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. We shall see. Next week, Saturday, we shall see those who are going to be able to memorize 10 verses. Oh, someone has already memorized it. Ayomide Lee. Let me see. Let's see. Let us see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe Ayomide can motivate others to memorize it as well. Ayomide, if you can turn on your camera, we can call you so you can memorize, so you can recite it for us. Although your camera is off at the moment. Ayomide Lee. Okay, your camera is on now. Okay. So let's see you give it a try. Uh, What's what the first verse? What do you say? What's the first verse? Say it again. What's the first verse? The first verse. Okay, I should give you the first verse. Okay, I'll give you the first verse. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. That's the first one. I think I memorized it in a different version. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Any version you use is fine. So, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two. The... Say what? The the... Okay, go the ahead. The, the earth is the Lord's and its fullest therein, the world, the world and those who dwell in it. For... <laughs> oh, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Uh, don't worry. I mean, I'm going to give you another chance next week by the grace of God, and I'm sure you're going to get it. I am very sure because you're already showing signs that you know it. Maybe it just skipped your mind for some reason, which is perfectly fine. That happens a lot, okay? So I'll give you an opportunity to refresh your memory, and then next week, <clears throat> we're going to call some people to recite it. Thank you, Ayomide, for at least giving it a try. God bless you. Okay. Uh, Raphael is in the house as well. Fantastic. Well done, bro. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, so we are going into the word for the day. And the word for the day is going to be by... I'm going to let Uncle Fuad now. <laughs> I'm handing over to Uncle Fuad now to give the announcement. Over to you, Uncle Fuad. Oh my God, you cut me, big brother. Oh, I get all the drum rolls and dun dun dun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So before we announce the speaker for today, he or she knows himself or herself. So love you prepare yourself for a few minutes before I call you on. Yes. In the meantime, we were given assignments last week. Hmm. Who remembers the assignments and who did it? Who did it? Let me see your hands up. I trust my ladies. I always, I trust my lady. Hey, nobody's raising up their hand. Only prophets are any from Nigeria. Who else? Oh my God. No, no, no. Just a shocker. No one remembers the assignments. Oh my God. Nope. Even the teacher does not remember the, does the teacher remember the assignment? Just give it a nod if you do. Teacher doesn't remember the assignment. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Okay, last week's assignment was a very simple one. So people say they were not there. Chiamaka, we miss you. I've been praying for you because I've not seen you for the past two weeks, I guess. You're welcome. Chiamaka, okay. So the assignment was very simple. Last week, we learned about that. Reminds me, let me see who can tell us what we learned about last week. Let's start from there. Prophet Ayeni, can you tell us what we learned and the assignments? If you do so, then we will give you a round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah. Prophet Ayeni, assignments, what we learned. Yes. You can unmute yourself. Prophet, you can unmute yourself. Oh, 
Um, <clears throat> our assignment was to um, find the verses of of the of wisdom. Yes, very good. There was one more thing. Can you remember? Um, say the verses. Oh, you, you got it. So I'm going to give you a very round of applause for getting that part. That was one of the major parts of the assignment. So the assignment was in two places. And thank you very much, Profit. Um, so the assignment was this. We learned about wisdom, guys. And our teacher was Emmanuel. We saw a video for crying out loud. It was fun. I took notes. And then the assignment was give four verses of the Bible where it spoke to us about wisdom. And I remember telling you a couple of those verses before we went off. And also, what are the four ways we can become wise? Oh, oh God, fun time, kids. Okay, you see, Prophet is raising up her hand again. I think Prophet is going to get a gift. She did her work. Can you imagine? Who else? Chiamma, can we around last week? How do you know the answers? Oh, she was not, I knew Chiamma was not around. Emmanuel, do you know the answers to your question? <laughs> Emmanuel has forgotten. Wow. <laughs> again, Zion, Zion students are going to miss after. All right. So let me just go straight to it before the message. I'm not going to call anybody. I'm just, wow, wow, wow. You guys, you guys made me cry. Okay. So we learned about wisdom and was taken by our friend, Mr. Emmanuel Adeshokon. And we have Proverbs 16, 16. You can write it down if you don't have it. James 1, 5. Ecclesiastes 1, 8. And he told us there are four ways to become wise. And this is the summary of last week's message. Yeah, four ways to become wise. Fear God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I, am, I remember I was echoing it last week. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the very first way is to fear God. Yes. The second is desire wisdom. If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask from God, who gives to all men sparingly without withholding. Thirdly, pray for wisdom. Pray. Pray for wisdom. And fourthly, study God's word. God's word gives wisdom. It replenishes us with wisdom. I think that can be found in the book of Proverbs. All right. This is going to be the last time. I mean, this is going to be the last time. We're going to give an assignment, and you don't take note of that assignment. No, Ted. <laughs> I trust you guys. Maybe you had a long week, but that doesn't mean it's always save time for God and save time to revise everything we've done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now we're going to be going straight into the word. Any further announcements we're given? right after the Kahoot. Yes. So, yes. So let's go. Oh, I think I know why you didn't read because you said general knowledge for Kahoot. There'll be no special Bible verse. Oh, so we'll get back to that. So any other announcement to be given right after, 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 after <laughs> right after Kahoot. And right now we're going to be welcoming our host for today, a very special host. He uses glasses like me. It's a very beautiful lad. Um, and he's been very consistent on this session, on this student's fun time. So join me. I'm going to unmute you all. We're going to give a round of applause and a big cheer as we invite today's host, a person, in person of Master Adeolua Adegoke. Can we all scream and give a round of applause? <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, so, good afternoon, everyone, and um, thank you for the round of applause. And I'm gonna um get straight on with my PowerPoint. And yeah. So. Thank you for the opportunity as well. So my PowerPoint is titled Esther's Mentor. And we're going to pray that, um, we're gonna pray about us being, 
that we will have a nice time and we will all gain something, no matter um, what happens, really. So in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray that you will help us all to gain something from what I'm about to say and that it won't just be me saying it, but you will speak through me in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, um, everyone, open your Bibles to the book of Esther as well. Um, we'll mostly be using the Living Bible translation. And, um, yeah. So, who is a mentor? Anyone have any ideas on what a, men on what a mentor is? Please wait. Okay. Namdi? A mentor is someone that guides you through life, that helps you with different things you want to do. Okay, thank you. Um, anyone else have any ideas on what a mentor is? Um, a mentor is like, um, so is like a teacher who gives advice about life. Okay, so thank you. So the dictionary says a mentor is an, is an experienced and trusted advisor or, or to advise or train someone, especially a younger colleague. We should have people in our lives who model, God, who model good things to us and should also be modeling good good things to others. We have to be showing the nature and character of Jesus Christ to everyone around us. Who was Esther's mentor? So anyone have an idea on who Esther's mentor is? Um, okay. Chiamaka? Yeah. Pardon? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, my screen was acting up a bit. Okay. But, um, I think that that um the first um the king's eunuch, hey guy, was could be a mentor because they taught them in the ways of life that they would be the king's queen. Uh, okay. Anyone else? That's um, very good, Chair Maka, but I think there was one person in particular. A mentor is, Esther's mentor was, um, I think it was God using um, Esther's cousin. Is it cousin or uncle? Yeah, it's um, cousin. Uh, what's yeah. his name? Mara, not Mara Khan. What you uh, say? Um, what's his name? What was his I, name? Is it Mordecai? Yeah. yeah correct. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done, Debbie. Well done. Esther's mentor was Mordecai. What other mentor mentee relationships can we think of? In the Bible. Should I pick someone for you? Uh, I, I just chose someone, but I think something happened. I'm choosing another person. All right. I think another mental mentee relationship was between uh, Abraham and like Abraham was so lot is was it lots lots mental pardon. I think the person said Abraham and Lot. Okay. 
That's a good one. Any other um, answer? Anyone else? Okay. In your Lua, please may you mute. Uh, Jesus mentored his disciples. Okay, that's a nice one. Thank you for answering. Um, so the ones I've got on that I thought of are King Saul and King David, Prophet Samuel and King Saul, King David and King Saul slash King David, Naomi and Ruth, Jesus and the disciples, like you just um like Inyolua just said, Paul and Silas slash Timothy, Barnabas and John Mark. Introduction of Mordecai. The Jews were had been taken into captivity by King Nebuchadnezzar in 597 BC and were still in the land of captivity. Our story really starts around 486 to 480 around 486, 483 BC, when King Xerxes, emperor of the vast Medo-Persian empire and his wife, Queen Vashti, were introduced in the first chapter of the book of Esther. The king gave a huge party and on the final day, he asked for his wife to come into the main, into the hall as he wanted to show off her beauty, yet she refused. This led to her being banished for her actions, never to be seen again. Later on, the king started to feel lonely and sad because he didn't have his wife with him, so its aides gave him the idea of having a beauty pageant, Esther 2 verses 1 to 4, and as we all know, Esther 1. A while later, these two eunuchs, Bigthan and Teresh, who were guards at the palace gate, had gotten angry at the king, so they planned to kill him. Somehow, Mordecai found out and told Queen Esther, who told the king and got them impaled. This was all recorded in the king's history book. Basically, the king recorded recorded his basically the king recorded his every move with the help of a scribe. This is the last part before Mordecai really jumps in. The part where Haman tricks the king because of the fact that only Mordecai doesn't bow down to him. Haman told the king that it was the entire population of the Jews that didn't obey his commands. And from the first chapter, we know how keen Xerxes is on people obeying him. Thanks to that, Haman got the king's permission to get rid of the Jews. And now we're going to look at chapter two and really meet the character of Mordecai. Chapter two. What can we learn from Esther in this chapter? Anyone have any answers? Tywo and Kenny? You should be able to unmute now. Okay. Um, that Esther was humble. Pardon? Esther was humble okay humble good one thank you thank Bye. you um galaxy tab a7 um galaxy tab a7 please can you change your name thank you and you can add your country as well we don't want to call you galaxy tab a7 so can you call someone else please okay thank you um Prophet. Uh, oops. You should be able to unmute now. Um, now Esther was willing to follow the Esther, Mordecai. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Um. Thank you. So what I got is that she was good natured and had a good character. She was also, and she also had a humble spirit and teachable spirit, and teachable spirit. We see her humbly accept the advice of the chief eunuch. And that's in Esther chapter two, verse 15. She also knew how to take and follow instructions, verses 10 and 20. 
Mordecai trained Esther in the right, right way because she listened to him even when she became queen. Verse um, Esther 2.20. That's in Esther 2.20. Mordecai was honest, loyal, and a trustworthy person. When he found out about the evil plot, he reported it, even though the plot was against the king in whose land he was a captive. Please may someone read the um, verses on the screen, please. Um, Lewis and Emmanuel. One day, as Mordecai was on duty, two of the king's enoch, Big Tan and Tyrish, who were guards at the palace gate, became angry at the king and plotted to assass assassinate him. Mordecai heard about it and passed on the information to Queen Esther, who told the king... Who told the king crediting information? As an, an, an investigation was made, the two men were found guilty and impaled, impaled alive. This was all truly record, recorded in the book of the history of King Azarus. Reign. Thank you. Azarus reign. Thank you very much. Let's go to Esther 4. Can anyone find an attribute on Mordecai in chapter 4, verse 13 to 14? So please may everyone open their Bibles and go to um, Esther 4, 13 to 14. Hi, Regina. Well, Is there anyone there? I already asked Jomi at Dini. You can unmute yourself. Okay. okay. Um, it says. So just tell us an attribute uh, then, of Mordecai. Uh, an attribute of, of Mordecai. Then he, he sent back an answer. He said you would live in the king's palace, but don't you, you think that just because you are there, you will be, you be the only Jew who will escape? That if, if you don't say anything at this time, then help for Jews will come from another place. Huh? Um, can you? Oh, uh, help from our Jews will come from another uh, play, place. But if but you and your family will die, who knows? It's possible that you became queen, queen for for a time just like this. Thank you for reading the verses, and. So I'm going to say what I learned from the chat, uh, from the verses. And so what I got is that Mordecai is spiritually strong in his relationship with God, even in the middle of him and his fellow Jews facing persecution and death. Um, so there the verses. And then we see that though initially Esther did not want to go before the king at the risk of death, but when Mordecai calmly explained what was at stake and pointed out that this perhaps was what she had been called to do, she got convicted and decided to fast and pray and asked him to get all the Jews to join in. He had already brought her up in the ways of the Jews, equipping her for her assignment so she knew the right solution to the problem. Mordecai was a person of wisdom because he knew what to do in dire situations. So that's another thing I got on Mordecai. Esther 5. Can anyone please read Esther 5, verses 9 to 10? A lady this time around. Any lady? Okay. I've chosen someone. All right. Tell 
to the economy. You're not unmuted yet. Pardon? Can you please give me a second? Okay. All right then. So Esther chapter five, nine to 10. Esther chapter five. Five verse nine to 10. Verse nine. Are you there, Toby? Are you there, yeah? Yes. Okay. You can read for us now. Haman went out and went out that day and ha in happy spirits when he saw Mordecai at his gate and observed And observed that he noticed neither rose he neither rose nor showered fear in his presence. He was filled with rage against Mordecai. Nevertheless, Haman restrained himself and went home, calling out together his friends and Venish his wife. Thank you, Toby, for reading those verses. So, did anyone find any good qualities about Mordecai? Please, um, ha, please, may someone refresh the hands, um, hands up, please, so we know. Yeah. Cause, uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Please may you um, tell us. Yes. The good quality of Mordecai was that. We can't see your face, Tim Lulua. Can you bring your screen closer? Move closer to your screen. Okay. Thank you. Right. Qualities of Mordecai. Thank you. Can I go on? Um, the qualities of Mordecai was. Um, he he was a righteous man. Um, he 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 was humble. He was generous. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So what I got is that Mordecai is consistent in the way he treats Haman. And we also see Christ-like attributes in Mordecai's character because he didn't get angry, go about complaining, looking for how to get Haman to lose his job, etc. But he remained focused, quite quiet, and humble. He also refused to bow to Haman, keeping the second commandment, which is do not bow down to any God but me, I think. Um, please may someone, uh, sorry, that's fine. And yeah, Esther 6. Can anyone read chapter 6, verses 11 to 13? And um, after that, can you say anything good about Mordecai, any good traits about Mordecai in the chapter? Um, distinction. Okay, um, Henry and Richard. <clears throat> um, sorry, um, okay, I'm, I'm coming, please hold on. Okay. Then he 
Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man and whom the king delights to honor. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate. But him and his to his house morning and having his head covered and Haman told Teresh his wife and all his friends everything that had before him then said his wife then said um, excuse me and I, think, Zeresh, I think he read ahead Mordecai be Seed of Jews before whom Henry, thou um, hast Henry and Richard. I think you've read ahead. It's only six okay. to eleven to thirteen. Okay, so. okay, sorry about that. Um, thank you for reading. And um, oh yeah. Um, sorry, I forgot. Um, Henry Richards, did you find, did you, do you have, oh, okay. Um, does anyone have any attributes or good traits about Mordecai from that chapter? Um, Micaiah and Damita. Um, um, he was wise and kind and and he fought for the truth. Okay, so where did you see that in the um, verses so far? Um, Esther 5. Um, we're, talking, we're on Esther 6. Oh. As the six verse seven verses eleven to thirteen. Yeah. Um he's uh okay. Um on Lao Lua. Um okay. Please may me you or mute. Um Lao Lua, please may me you or mute. I don't think he's unmuting. Can you call okay. oh. pardon? Well, all the way, you can go on. Um, anyone else have any traits about Mordecai in verse, um, chapter 6, verses 11 to 13? Robin, you can unmute yourself. I deal with you. Robin, I deal with you. Um, you yeah. Um, um, he is honorable and trustworthy. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. So, yeah. yeah, well, you read my mind sort of because I thought trustworthy as well. So, I got that most Mordecai is trustworthy because he went straight back to his job. He went straight back to his job after the parade and that he's humble. He was also he was also was not self-centered or desired the praise of men. If this happened today, he would have been posting on his social media pages, bragging about how the king honored him and letting it get to his head. 
Rather, he went back to his position at the gate and continued with life as normal, as if nothing ever happened. Mordecai put his trust totally in God and never sought to fight Haman in his own strength. Okay, please may someone read the verse at the bottom, Esther 6 verse 13 in the voice translation. Okay. Oba and Sharon. Leave me your mute. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, Team Aguazian. He told his wife, Zeresh, and his friends everything that had happened to him. They'd, they offered him a bit of wise advice. Zeresh and his friends said, You must be very careful with how you handle Mordecai. If he really is a Jew, a descendant of the nation that defeated your ancestors, then you won't be able to succeed. In fact, you will most certainly be destroyed. Look, you've already begun to bow to him. Um, thank, thank you, you for reading. Um, so, um, so on Esther's chapter seven, I haven't got any. I forgot to get any verses on. So, um, the wow. So what I've got on from Esther seven is that Mordecai helped Esther cultivate a good personality and compassion for others. She also knew when to do things to win the king's favor and how to plead for what would benefit others, not just herself, as she could have asked the king to save only her and her friends and her family and friends. Okay, um, anyone would like anyone want to read the verses on screen? Um, David, why did you? Okay, David, would you like to unmute? David. Um, David, are you there? I don't think he's there. Can you call someone else? Okay, so I'm there. Responded. Responded. I'm here. All right, David. I'm here. On. Thank you. And at last, Queen Esther replied, "If I have won your favor." Okay, King. I sorry. Sorry, I, I can't see the remaining. Pardon? Can you can you see it now? It's a, it's a little blurry. Oh, it's the network. Uh, um um can you see it now? Yes. Okay. And at last, Queen Esther replied, if I have won your favor, O King, and if it please your majesty, save my life and the lives of my people. For I and my people have been sold to those who destroy us. We are doomed to destruction and slaughter. If we are if we are were only to be slowed as sold as slaves, perhaps. Perhaps I could remain quiet, though even then there would be incalculable damage. Incalculable, the, incalculable damage to the king that no amount of money could begin to cover. Esther seven three verse four. Thank you. Thank you. So Esther eight. Can we quickly scan through chapter eight to see if we can find anything interesting about Mordecai? Okay, so if you haven't if you haven't gotten anything yet, please may you put your hands lower your hands. Thank you. Okay, joy. Is me or mute joy?
Are you there, Joy? Joy, you can unmute yourself. I have joy, 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 joy in the Lord, joy everlasting forevermore. Hey, Joy, Esther chapter 8. Pardon? What's it gave Mordecai the net ring. Pardon? It gave Mordecai the next ring. Okay. Thank you. Um Emma Sam Italy. Please hear your mute. Manuel Sam from Italy, can you unmute? Are you there? Manuel. I don't think Manuel's there. Can we call someone else? Okay. Um Oyeni Gladden. Um please make you unmute. Oh, you need Gladin and Olua. You can unmute yourself, please. So, what interesting thing do you know? Do you know about? Or can you see about Esther in chapter eight? About Mordecai in Esther chapter eight. Oh, you need. Oh, I think it's not there. Let's just call people whose faces are showing. Okay. Yeah. Um, in your Olua. Um, so, interesting things about Mordecai is that chapter eight. In chapter eight, is that he encouraged um uh, his cousin. Esther Pardon? His, no, not he encouraged Esther to be able to go and meet the king. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, what I thought um. N now is that notice how he never made noise or bragged about his close relationship with Queen Esther. He used his influence in a quiet and humble way. So the so we're talking about Mordecai and how he never bragged about him being so close of a relative to Queen Esther, and he never used the influence he had um in a like power hungry way. And yeah, and that another thing noticed is that Mordecai was aware of the times he was in and when to be happy so celebrate and when to be sad or fast and pray. And when I say um and when I say um times, I mean in Ecclesiastes how the times and seasons. Um and yeah. Can anyone read the verse on the, at the bottom of the screen in grey? Please. Um, Lewis and Liam Gold. Lewis and Liam. Please me your mute. The Mordecai put on the, the Mordecai put on the royal robes of blue and white, and a great crown of gold, with an outer cloak of fine linen and purple, and went out from the presence of the king, through the city streets filled with shouting people. Thank you. So. We're on Esther 9 now. Can anyone please read chapter um ch Esther 9 verses 20 to 23? Um oops. Um I only did like Esther 9 verse 
verse 20 to 23. Okay. Mordecai wrote down the, these events. He sent letters to all, all, all the Jews all through the territories of King Xerxes. It didn't matter whether the Jews lived nearby or far away. Mordecai told them to celebrate the 14th and 15th days of the month of Adar. He wanted them to do it every year. Mordecai told the Jews to celebrate the time when they got the wet the got wet from the enemies. That was a month when the sadness was turned into joy, into joy. It was when the reaping turned into a day for celebrating. He wrote the letters to celebrate those days as times of joy. He told them to give presents of food to another. He also wanted to give them to give gifts to people of food. So the Jews agreed to continue the celebrating that they had started. They kept doing what Mordecai had written to them. Thank you for reading those verses. And anyone find any attributes? Please may you put up your hand. Um, Heaven, please may you unmute. Um, Kevin, please may you unmute quick um, to say your attribute you've got. Excuse me, I don't have I, I don't I don't have any attribute. Oh, okay. Um other than Grace Dubai. Mordecai was peaceful. Okay. Thank you for your attribute. So what I've gotten is that Mordecai was not power mad, so he was kind with his suggestions because in um he was only um being, suggesting it and not be forcing it and turning it into law for everyone that so everyone had to do. Um, no, no. Is it? Um please may you unmute. I mean please may you mute, sorry. Is it a coincidence that Mordecai, a descendant of Kish, a Benjamite, is the one who face who has a face-off with Haman, son of Hamedatha, the Agagai? The previous time we saw such a face-off was between King Saul, son of Kish, the Benjamite, and King Agag, king of the Agagites or the Amalekites. Verse Samuel, and this is and this is seen in First Samuel, first chapter fifteen. King Saul chose to fear men rather than in God, thereby being rejected as king and leaving descendants of Agag to come back so many years later to try and annihilate the Jews that but Uncle Mordecai st steadfastly refused to fear or tremble before anyone. And that is coincidence or God incidents. What have we learned? What have we learned today? Um, so what have we learned on picking a good mentor, being a good mentor, and how to learn from a mentor? Um, anyone have any? Um, please, um, Uncle Fuan, please may you refresh the um responses. Um, Emma Sam. Please may you unmute. I think that uh, uh, we should follow what uh, uh, our mentor says when we have difficulties of uh, how to do something. Thank you for your answer.
Um, okay. Mariah and Emmanuel. Do you have anything to say? Um, you can unmute. Or you should be. Oh. You should be able to unmute now. So, like, we've learned that, like, like when we do, like, when we're like, like, when we're like. Are you still there? Um, when we're like Mordecai, like everything will be good. Like we have to be like Mordecai and like when I'm um, be like trustworthy and, and courageous. Thank you. Um, one more person and then I'll give our assignment. Um, for him, for him, Can you repeat the question, please? Um, so what have you learned today on picking a good mentor, being a mentor, or how to learn from a mentor? What I've learned about picking a good mentor is to find someone that will help me, that, it, that will help me that is godly and can help me build my spiritual faith with Jesus. Thank you. Um, so my assignment for um, next week is that we, that everyone um, learn, um, that everyone learns um, another attribute, an attribute or no. That my assignment is that everyone um go um after fun time um that everyone go find um a mentor or mentee relationship um in the Bible in the New Testament other than Jesus and the disciples um and yeah so I finished my PowerPoint today thank you everyone for listening and god bless you and thank you for contributing so i have finished uh, Uncle Fun, you can take her um you can take her over again.
Hallelujah. Oh my God. I could not unmute myself. Can you make me co-host now? Thank you. Oh my God. I was screaming. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me. Unmute. <laughs> and we are back. Hallelujah. Amen. I was showing you unmute me, but you couldn't see. So I'm, I'm glad we are holy. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes. Uh, someone said no. Oh. In can you make me co-host Enoch or anyone there? Thank you. Just make me co-host. That would be much appreciated. So thank you very much, Adela, Adishoka, and. I think before I, we talk about what we learned, because I wrote a lot of things and I also wrote the assignments down, I would love us to pray for him together. So I won't call someone to pray for him. But before I do that, can Enoch make me co-host, please? Enoch, are you there? Reina? Uncle J. Mikey, are you there? I think Kenny J. Mikey can... Um, Make you a co-host. All right, all right. Because I don't know how. All right, thank you very much. I'll get that done. I'll get that done. But in the meantime, I'm going to pray together. So I'd like everyone to bow their heads down as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's session. We thank you for this lovely, wonderful, beautiful session about your daughter, Esther, and about how effective it is to have a godly role model, a godly mentor over her. Even though she knows you, you know it well to always have someone to guide us in the word of truth, in the way of truth, to remind us to nurture us in your way, O oh Lord. We thank you for good friends. We thank you for our teacher. Thank you for this beautiful topic. We thank you for today, Lord. We ask that you let your knowledge well in us that we not be hearers only but doers of your word as well in jesus name oh lord help us to practice what just said in jesus name and give us a humble spirit like that of mordecai in jesus name we pray for our teacher that you bless him with wisdom knowledge and understanding and you cause him to grow and wax stronger and stronger in faith in jesus name we have prayed amen let me hear a resounding amen. 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 Thank amen. you very much. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be handing over to <laughs> our host, Kahoot host for today. Yes, our Kahoot host for today. There are loads of announcements coming right after the Kahoot. So once the Kahoot is done, just stay back. And <laughs> like J. Mikey said, there are lots of things in store next week. So yeah, just wait for the announcements. And I'm going to be handing over to our host for today, the Kahoot Hoot. And that's going to be no one else but our Mr. Enoch. So let's give a round of applause as we hand over to Enoch. Is Enoch in the house? Enoch, can you take over for the Kahoot session? We are ready for you. I'm very sure Enoch has been waiting for this since last week. So if Enoch is in the house, can he? Take over for today's Kahoot session. Enoch, are you there? Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm there now. Enoch, can I you make me co-host, please? I'm not co-host. I had to switch onto a different device, so we lost. Um, oh, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so without further ado, we'll get straight into it. This time, we'll be doing a different form of quiz. It's called a blue kit I think that's what they call it yeah so I'm very excited to be doing this so I'm actually looking forward to it so I've taken my time to make it and now just did some tweaks earlier before and now I'm ready to show it to the world okay let me share oh I can't share my screen because I'm not co-host
All right. So, um, Uncle Jay, Mikey, can you make me co-host? And can you make me not co-host? Thank you very much. Someone just unmuted me. Who's the person? <laughs> it was me. Then you can make us co-host. Oh, I can't. It's, I, I don't know how. I press um. I don't know how because on the in the thing you can go on to it only says chat stop video ping remove spotlight rename rename allow to record local files allow to multi pin put in waiting room remove and report that's it. So I don't know how. And you can, I can only unmute people or like ask them to mute. You can't um, ask me, J. Man. Okay, I'm going to give him a call right now. <laughs> Live call. Oh. I'm not sure if Reina and Emmanuel are here. If you put your hand up so I can see you, then I'll be able to know. <laughs> Perhaps he made this hard. So then, They're both here. Okay, that, that's that's very good. That's very good. Yeah, that's very good. So the mode that I'll be doing is uh, called Gold oh, Quest. Screen, but... Pardon? I can't see your screen. Oh yeah, um, I'm having difficulties because I'm not co-host, so. Uh, we're just sorting that out, but I'll just quickly go over some of the rules anyway. Yeah, um, in this mode is gold quest, so you answer question. If you get the question right, you then get three chests that you get to open. You you can pick one of them. There's either you swap with you swap the amount of gold with someone else. You can lose a certain amount. You can get triple gold. You can get double gold, or you get nothing, or you get to take. A certain amount from other people. What's the what's the uh, the the quiz ID? How do I log in? Um, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, you know. Um, I've enabled. I'll let um participants share screen, so I think you'll be able to do it now. Okay. Hopefully, no one else does it. Can you? Uh... Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, okay. Let's do a. Um, okay. Let's do ten. So. Ten. Yeah. I'm just uh getting. You can use your name, and I'll host it now. That's it. See it. Yeah. Can you paste the link in the chat? Enoch, you're now co-host. You can take charge. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, thank you. Now the link is in the chat. Oh. Enoch, one question. We can't really hear you, but one question. Should we allow Raida and Josiah to play today? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> See, this time, like, you might, yes. see, this time you like, like, <laughs> anyone can win, because if someone swaps their gold with them, and let's say they're on one million gold and someone swaps that's at the last it. minute, they lose their gold and the other person wins. Wow, that's superb. I could hear us. Thank you. Thank <laughs> but you. I was like, just say I was like, so you're all welcome to play today. Next week is going to be very, very powerful. I just got a big announcement. It's going to be boys versus girls. So yes, next week's quiz. Right now, we're going to be keeping you on a um, little bit of rest for the upcoming fun time, that's upper month. So I'm going to, we're going to take it over next week. It's going to be boys versus girls, and it's going to be very hot. So boys, prepare. Girls, get ready. 
Let's see who's going to take home the gold. All right. So while you're joining, um, shout out to our last winner. And that was um, team CJ Aguazam. Aguazam. So let's see if they're going to pull any trick for us this week. So we're going to see today's winners. Hmm, it might be you, Chi Chi. It might be Betty. It might be Adeola. It might be Emmanuel because it talks about wisdom. It is wisdom personified. So we're going to see if, <laughs> if it's going to win today's session. All right, keep joining. We've got 48 people. We've got 47. Hmm. I'm looking forward to Enoch's questions. He said it's going to be hard. All right. 50 out of 90. Let's more people join in. We're 92. Let's have you in. Join, join, join. You can um on you can only choose if someone's chosen an animal um avatar um it won't let you do another thing it won't then it will all be taken off so you can't join so like some of them are coming out so most almost all oh I think not then Hands up if you've if you've not joined, so I can. Uh... Okay. Oh, okay. Fifty-two people. Fifty. Oh, people are still joining. People are still joining. Fifty-six people are still joining. Let's keep dropping in. Let's keep dropping in. We've got 92 today. It's very evident that we have a lot of turn up and some people invited. Shout out to God's Beauty, the highest number of invitees last week. Can't wait to see who's next. Um, I don't... Sorry. I don't, don't think something? anyone else can join in because um, I went on the... um On the waiting in the lobby, um, there's no more characters to click on. People are still joining. We've got 60. People are still joining. Try oh, again. now the animals refreshed. Yeah, yeah, the animals yeah refreshed. I think they refresh. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah, they will refresh. 62 out of 93. Joining people. We want to scramble Enoch's questions from the Bible. <laughs> yes. We are oh. ready to gobble them in and devour them with the power of the Holy Spirit within us. Because we read our Bible during the week and we are ready to show Enoch that we shall fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. 64. We have like 40 more people. Please join in. Join in. Join in, ladies and gentlemen. Enoch is, oh my God, Enoch is getting ready for <laughs> 66, hallelujah. Let's keep joining, let's keep joining. We're going to start That's our countdown to... very soon. 67, 10 minutes 68. to play. Wow, 10 minutes to play. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait. And also, um, when you're playing, you, you don't need to look at my screen. You can just stay on your screen because the questions will appear on your screen. It's in different orders, so it's not in one set order, it's different. And if you get it wrong, it'll, it'll tell you the answer. So 70. 70. We've got 20 more people. 20 more people before we start our 20 seconds countdown. Come on, come on, quick. 71, 72, beautiful. The chat, the link is in the chat. You can always click. The link is in the chat. Abigail, you're welcome. <laughs> Enoch, we are ready for you. <laughs> In the name of the Father. Enoch is giving us the background music. Can you imagine? <laughs> now I'm salivating. I'm going to consume this question. <laughs> 76. All right, once it gets to 80, we start our countdown. 77. Join in, join in, join in, yeah, yeah, time, funk, temp, funk, temp, join in, 
Kahoot, hoot, I'm looking hoot, forward hoot. to this. Yeah, hoot, 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 hoot. Let me see you join the Kahoot. Let me see you put. Yeah, join. Yay. Adio Lua, Abigail. Amy B, Ayomide. We need three more people and we start our countdown. 78. Okay, I'll be good at you. Fingers crossed. Debbie is raising up her hand. Do you want to say something? You can unmute yourself. Um, I want to ask, um, does it when when you have done everything, was it still waiting for the host? Yeah, once we've clicked, just we just wait when you when you're done, then the host will start the game. Yes. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, this is very We're ready. Sell, 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 sell. Yeah, we're ready. Time to put the cuz get you we're ready. Okay. Hey. I think we'll start now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. four three. One. Over to you, Enoch. Thank you very much. You can start today's Kahoot session. Everyone, make sure you look at the stars. See the instructions. Take all from the others. Chance postcode after 10 minutes wins. Good luck. Off we go. So you should have this, uh, the, uh, the questions on your screen. Raina, oh my days. Okay. And y'all have just swapped gold with Say Raina Soccer 2011. The Rama Brothers, yeah. All right. M Michelle, 100, 150 gold. Michelle, first place. well done. 135. She may have just lost some, but she may have been. You mean someone may have taken gold from them? So all to play for. Esther is back in number one. Sekiro. Josiah. <laughs> Josiah tagged himself winner. <laughs> Let's see about that. <laughs> wow, Josiah's on the top. Tim Aguazi, I'm doing a good job. Still too early to celebrate. Anything can happen. Yes, it's 10 minutes, people. A lot of things can happen. I yeah. wish I was playing Emmanuel. the game as well. Emmanuel is on top. Welcome, brother. I can't see Raina. <laughs> Let's have a look. Where is Raina? Oh, well done. It oh, Raina rolling. is very low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reina wasn't prepared for Enoch's questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reina is 16. <laughs> We've got Team Agua. Josiah has dropped. Very nice jump. Reina has dropped well as well. Done. Ola Olua, Portugal. Well done. You guys should focus on the questions, the bio questions. Don't get distracted by our commentaries, even though that's our intention. Uh -uh. Sarah, welcome. Yes. Mano just took Sarah's gold. All right. Sarah with well 1K. Like I said, it's a random Ooh, Sarah question. has lost a lot of gold. People from 1K going down. Adeoluwa peaking at around 2K. Michelle. Past the 2k mark, first person to get past 2k. Josiah just took 121 gold oh, yeah. from Sarah. Ooh. Let's see what's gonna happen. Love the consistency of the Rabble yeah. Brothers. The Rabble Brothers are home. Woo! I think, uh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't Josiah think that's... has just dropped. I'm on zero gold. Josiah is me. <laughs> Josiah is on zero gold. <laughs> I hate this game. I hate it. Enoch, thank you. <laughs> Manuel, yeah. get it. This game we're also going to base humble. it. We're also going to base it on people's accuracy because people can get zero accuracy, then suffer the last minute and get all the gold. Oh, oh 
Oh, so wow. people with 100% 90 accuracy, they're also oh, yeah. um, accuracy, yeah. um, crazy. So just keep getting the questions right, you get reward for that. 7 times Guru is amazing. Jomia Daini Yee. 7K, oh, no. wow. Josiah. Raina is coming up. Woo! I'm cheering for you, Raina. I'm cheering for you, Raina. Woo, you did a good job. Namdi is up. Oh, someone's almost at the 10K mark. Josiah, again, back there. Someone just swapped gold with Josiah. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm proud of you I guys. I 10K. I hit 10K. Woo! Josiah 10k! Let's go, well, Sarah! It just oh Someone God. just swapped! Sarah, well done! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> 17k! Rain is still about 7k away. 20, oh, 27.8k! What? <laughs> Are you me, Oh, I can, I can imagine people sweating under this. <laughs> Questions. How hard are the questions? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll have a debrief after. <laughs> Some oh of these questions. Well, oh, ben Zion, nice welcome to, be, to the top charts. Well, 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 well done. Taiwan, Kenny, well done. Prophet Esther, Esther you, and Team K only 26k. You're doing well, you're doing great. Catherine, welcome. Mm. Divine. That's how we know people that read their Bible. You read your Bible, you get reward. And it's very obvious. So people don't read their Bible, but they're good at swapping other people's gold. Accuracy we review. Wow, Timagosiam. Welcome to the top score. We have less than five minutes, people. Less than five minutes. A lot can still happen within that time. 181k, Gabriel. Here, Chia. I think that's Chia Maka. Whoa, are you kidding me? Chia Maka. Wow. Chia Maka. 180k. Well Namdi. Raina! 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 Raina's now at the top, but will that be. Chia Maka, I think. Chia Maka, Chia Maka is back. 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 I can imagine the fingers going ta 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 ta. <laughs> Wang, Wang is now at the top. Oh, that's a big <laughs> swap. Emmanuel now at the top again. Destiny took 108,000. Emmanuel has Emmanuel. now hit the millions. 2.5 million? <laughs> but he's dropped though. Someone may have taken from him. Wow. You know, this 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 be a very good lesson in life. You start very small and humble, then you develop and you grow, 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 grow. And now we have people in the million category. He has been dealing with pocket money. Now you're in the million. And Yola just took 260,000 gold from Emmanuel. Emmanuel has just swapped that gold <laughs> with someone else called M. And Kevin is now a peak. I like this. This is the ideal Bible godly version of stock markets. You cannot <laughs> predict it. <laughs> Just keep asking the Bible questions, people. 16.9k, Mo and E, man. Woo! Hey, it's Taiyan, King Day. Rainer, so back up there. I don't know what Israel and Dan. Emmanuel, though. And Yola, and Yola, swap that. Adiolu I just swapped gold with Chia Chia. Chia Chia has been targeted a lot in this. <laughs> Reina just swapped gold. People are taking five million gold from people. Six million gold. We're now in the hundred millions. Josiah, he's the I think he just dropped out again. Ben Zion. Oh. You were the This is very tight. 
I see you shopping goals. Bible, Bible stock market. I don't get that. I don't get it. Oh my God! Fifty seconds, people. Fifty seconds. Ready as on the top. Got a goal. Got a million. But I was seven extra. Forty-five seconds in counting. We got M T T R Y M S. All right, 35 seconds and going. Ben Zion, 30. Gabriel, I want to Rainer. hear you guys clicking. Nah, Rainer, 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 Rainer cannot win this. So Rainer good. should not win this. Emmanuel should not win this. Um, well, if, they do win this if they don't win this, I made this Rainer. Yay! Okay. Welcome to the top cat Zion, 6.5 billion. Emmanuel's 20. Emmanuel's signaling us the end. It's finished. No. Final standings. M in third. I've done it. Yes. I can't fix. I've done it. Oh, I'm about the accuracy. Okay, let's see the reports. Hmm. Woo. 88 players. Accuracy, Catherine, 73%. We've got, whoa, Nitemi. We've got M. 50% accuracy. Oh my God, Nitemi 50. Who has the highest? Let's see. So far. Leaderboard. Um, so Aguazia. far, it's Team Aguaziam. Chia Chia and. Um, oh, how I MS. Let me take this name down. I think that was um, all right. I mean, let's judge here. Did you guys you know yourself? RYMS. Who else? Oh, Rena! Rena! <laughs> I closed the game. It's over. <laughs> let's see one more person. Rena. Someone has to get more. Rena, and your and so. 92%. Oh, 92. Beautiful. Hmm. And your Wow, I'm proud of you guys. You guys are Bible scholars. Beautiful, amazing. Amy B, 86%. Right. So Emmanuel, 92%. Emmanuel! Why? <laughs> All right, I think we have a winner. Three, top three. So for me, it's the accuracy. All the yeah. glitters and gold, or not all the glitters. <laughs> the point is, I wasn't after the gold. I was after how accurate you are in your Bible project. Nice one. I think we can close this now. Thank you very much, Enoch, for hosting today's session. Like I said, it's the godly, what the, what do I call it? Yeah, godly stock godly exchange. Stock market. <laughs> stock market quiz. Godly stock market, market quiz. It was very interesting. <laughs> And that's how life is, people. That's how life is. You just start here and then you get higher and then all of a sudden people are like, oh, what happened? And nobody cares about who was up before five minutes or five seconds ago. And then everybody continues and then you just keep on doing. But no one really knows who's accurate and who's doing the real job. And those are the accurate people. The ones who keep the economic balance. Okay, back to, woo, I really love you. I wish I was a part. I'm going to just say my care about it. Remarkable. So thank you very much, Enoch. God bless you. And uh, yes. So we look forward to more from this. So maybe one time we'll just choose from Reina and then Enox. So get ready for the next fun time, which is in uh, two months time. So you're going to be taking one session definitely in this style, while Reina is going to be taking, let's say, about two or one, depends. So thank you very much. I won't much. be able to do the next ones. Why? I have my exams. Oh, what about your brother? 
Yeah. Uh, he could, yeah, he's yeah, he's free. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much. You know, and then yes, on that note, we're gonna pray for you since you mentioned it. God bless Enoch in advance and help him with his exams, help him to progress in life, in fullness, in flying colors. And Lord, please grant him success, grant him divine success and favor him wherever he finds himself in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for returning to memory. Thank you for today's session. Thank you for today's fun time, Kahoots. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you very much. So I'm going to be rounding up with that announcement. So before the announcement, shout out to Emmanuel. Hey, 92%. Eniola, 92%. Reina, 90%. And uh, we've got Chia Chia, R-Y-M-S. We've got M. You all know yourselves. Well done, well done, well done. I'm so proud of you. It shows that you guys were intentional. You read your Bibles and you got prepared for today's Kahoot. So for next, next session, it's not going to be Kahoot. It's going to be boys versus girls. Like Uncle J. Mikey said, we have a lot in store for you next week. I thought that was a thing for next week. Yes? Who's that? Uh, just... Me. Can you unshare your screen, Adela? Who's... I think that's Adela, I think. Ah, oh, thank you. Stop that. Don't do that again. <laughs> yeah, All right. I've right. disabled it. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> so, yes, I can see a lot of people have questions. I'm going to see if Uncle Mike is going to allow that. But let me pass all the announcements before. So your assignment was given by our teacher for today, who taught us about mentoring. And as I said, find out attributes of other mentors in the Bible and what you can learn from them. So attributes in the Bible of other mentors, aside Mordecai to Esther, and learn from them. Then, if possible, if possible, find a mentor for yourself. And to find a mentor for yourself, you have to be very prayerful. You don't just find, oh, this person is very versatile, this person knows the Bible, or this person is a pastor. No, no, no. You pray and be led by God. Discuss with your parents. Your parents can't even be, they should even be your number one mentor. Your parents are your number one mentors, okay? So if you need be, if need be for you to get all that, you can just ask God. And yes, but the most important thing, Read your Bible and listen to God. Listen to God always, and He'll direct your path. So yes, do this as assignments, and um, prepare for boys and girls, boys and girls. And for next week's minister, we're going to be choosing a minister next week. I can see you guys raising up your hand. I'm very sure. <laughs> Just one second. Okay, I thought uh, hands went down. <laughs> no, that was me. That was okay, me. that was I was scared. I thought you were ready to not run away from the Lord. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So, so yeah. So, who am I going to select for next week? I want all boys to put their hands down. Boom. Yes. And all girls, let's see your hands go up. I want to see Queen Esther's bold and ready for the Lord, ready to take us on the next fun time session, ready to share the word of God with us. Preferably someone who hasn't done it before, who is on fire for God, who has learned so much, who can prepare a beautiful slide like the other teachers have done and empower us with God's word. I can see Sarah, I can see Ella, I can see Mo, you're sorry. Who else? We are the ladies. I can see prophets. Hmm. My mind is already going to someone. The person was very efficient in today's class. Hmm. Who is RYMS? And who is M? Who is the M? The M that won the Kahoot session. Let me enable the chat. Who is the M that won the Kahoot session? Can you type it in the chat? M and R Y M S. Ladies, still keep your hands up. My spirit is moving like flash. I see you love people want to fix more your story. Okay. I'm Rebecca. I was seventh place. I'm looking for the M and the R Y M S. No, we cannot play another round. Thank you very much. I know you had fun. 10 minutes fun. Yes. All right. So I'm going to be using now by the power me and by the leading of the spirits. Whew. Hallelujah. And by God's grace, next week is going to be taken by no one else 
But uh, no, then... don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. That was close. That was so close. That was so close. <laughs> All right, fine. Say it. Say it. Fine. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> Prophet Ayeni from Nigeria. Who, who's, that? Who's, that? who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, I'm going to put it on the screen right now. Prophet Ayeni from Nigeria at the spotlight. Oh, yes. fantastic. Okay. Mm-hmm. You contributed well. You did your assignments. <laughs> 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 all right congratulations you've been chosen to lead us in god's presence to take us in a word of exhortation next week and um and that's because of your due and consistent yes your consistent work we, we see those tiny things you guys do okay we take notes you're reading your bible doing the assignments participating in class we do and she's not the only one that did so today a lot of you and i'm so proud of you guys so yes just keep it up and profit i any Thank you very much. Next week, we look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. And more grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Over to you. And continue to day, Mikey. Over to me. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Uncle Fuan, for a fantastic time. Uh, thank you, Adegoke Adeoluwa, for a fantastic ministration. Well, God bless you. God bless you. That was awesome. That was amazing. You guys are doing fantastic. We are so proud of each and every one of you for taking out the time to be here. I think today had a very good number. We had almost 90 people today who joined in. And uh, I'm we also seeing almost 100. It clicked on 100. Yeah, it, it clicked good. on 100 at the point. That was fantastic. Yeah. I see God's beauty and our friends as well. I see Pra Chiamaka. I see. Uh, Faithola Canada, God bless each and every one of you for being a part of this program. If you have any questions, you can type it in the chat for the sake of our time. So I'm just going to call on uh, one person and then the rest of us can type it in the chat for the sake of our time. So who am I calling? I see people raising up their hands and I'm uh, wondering who, oh, no more, no one is raising up their hand again. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Raphael, you've got a question. Yes, uh, so when will uh, the newest movie, uh, 30 Pieces, be coming out? <laughs> 30 Pieces will be coming up tomorrow on YouTube what, what? by the grace of God. So if you haven't seen that, oh, my phone is not here, but I'd like to show us the trailer. 30 Pieces will be coming to, to be dropping on YouTube by the grace of God. Damlo and Bamlo's YouTube channel, you can check it out. 30 Pieces, it's a very lovely movie. You'll be blessed to have it. And then after that, we're going to be releasing another movie probably next month, titled Recitation. I mentioned that the last time. And that one is something we can all relate to because it's about a young boy and reciting Bible passages. So you're going to enjoy that one as well. Someone is asking, when will I make more Jan Josh series? Very soon, by the grace of God. We've actually shot some of them and we are going to be releasing them uh, one by one, starting from next month, by the grace of God. Someone is asking, will the boys and girls be Kahoot? That's what I'm still going to discuss with Uncle Fuan and the other Team Zion members if it's going to be Kahoot or it's going to be um, manually. That's what I'm not sure about yet. Um, when is Abatoa coming out? Later this year. Um, okay, Uncle Fuan, uh, someone has, re- re- has um, signified Rebecca from Ghana. Rebecca from R-Y-S-S. Ghana, congratulations. R-Y-S-S. and Thank you very much. You did very yes, well. Yes, we now quiz, right? Yeah, she was, yeah, she was the top. Oh yeah, my the, god, the, the let me let me see if I can spotlight uh uh Rebecca R-Y-M-H from Ghana. Very well. yeah, oh, from Ghana. Our, our camera is off at the moment. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Thank oh, you it's very on. much, Rebecca. God bless you. Oh wow. Oh now it's off again. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, Daddy, a round of to Rebecca. Thank you very much for for the oh there she is. Congratulations. Oh, she's a Wow. God bless you. Oh my you. God. She's like Raina. She did it hands down that in a saloon. Fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm really proud of her. You see, you see how people yes. are joining the fun time, even regardless of where they are. That's fantastic. Yeah, that is yeah, amazing. So let me see any other question again. What about May children's fun time? The next children's fun time will be uh we're in March. May will be in May by the grace of God, every Saturday in May. And uh, like I said, if you haven't, if I don't have your number 
or your parents' number, and you want me to send a message to you to notify them whenever we have the children's phone time or any other important announcements regarding children's program or training, please send me a message, a WhatsApp message, and just tell me to store your number. This is my number, 8069636814. Yeah, this is my number. So you can always say, I put in the chat, you can send me a message and say, store this number if I haven't stored your number yet so that I can store it. All right. Um, yeah. I think we've answered most of the questions. Yes, we have answered most of it. How do you get your homework? How do you get, I'm not sure I understand the question. Oh, is the there homework, any this time? The, we just add some homework. The one Uncle J. Mikey gave, which is to recite Psalm 24, and that's uh, your pass for your personal growth. You could be called, you could be called up next week, depends. And okay. the second one was by the minister. He said, find out attributes like Mordecai and Esther, examples in the Bible you can take after as mentors. Have okay, home. fantastic. Um, Kia is saying, This is my fourth year here. When am I going to lead? I was that what she said? Uh, Kia, where's Kia? Identify. Uh, you know, part of the ways we identify people here is by turning on your camera. When you turn on your yes. camera, we recognize you. For example, I recognize Debbie, Debbie from South Africa. I recognize her because I see her all the time. I recognize <laughs> Raphael. I recognize um, um, Reina. I recognize Josiah. I recognize these people because I see them. But if your camera is off, there is no way yeah, I can I recognize you. you. All right. I recognize Gabriel. <laughs> God bless you. I recognize Toby. I recognize all you guys. So I recognize Uncle J. Mikey. You know, because my camera is, <laughs> camera on. is on. If you want me to recognize you, turn on your camera from time to time. Okay. All right. Okay. Kia's camera is on now. <laughs> Let me ask what like. So Kia says she has been here since uh oh, I don't see anything. She has been here. Kia, for... come on. Anyway, but that's fine. So don't worry, as time goes on by the grace of God more things yes. will be coming up all right i think believe we've come to the end of the children's fun time third month of um of third saturday, saturday of the month of, the month, of yeah. march so what? That's what? again two three four hallelujah eight zero six nine six three six eight one four okay so number going to be sent again. again okay oh sorry yeah, I've sent it again. So plus two, three, four. Make sure you put the plus in front of it. So the closing prayers will be taken. Closing prayer will be taken by, I think a lady took the opening prayer. So a young yes. guy should take the closing prayer this time. Uh, since the lady started, let's make a young guy end it. And then we're going to call on Temi Lolua to take us in the closing prayer. Okay. Go ahead. In this matter, I pray. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for what we learned today and what we did. Thank we you, learned Lord. about about the Bible and we it affects on our lives. And thank you, God, for peop, the people who are here and the people who cannot join next time. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you once again. And you know, as we come to an end, can we all clear our throats as we say a very powerful, thunderous hallelujah that is capable of destroying the network and bringing it back in a few seconds time. Who's ready for that? Who's ready for I am ready. Who's ready to hallelujah. I am shake? ready. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>